thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for the High School Years Expansion Pack. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm exploring Copperdale and I'm doing it with Cinderella Sims so we know it's going to be pure chaos. Um, we have had some occult uh, children which we're going to age up to teens, we're going to give them a makeover and kind of that's the plan for today's episode. We'll see how far we get and I'll show you kind of what I've got going on. So we're in the beautiful town of Copperdale that comes with the new expansion pack and if I click on view world info we get a world description. Once renowned for its booming mining industry, the town of Copperdale, quaint and historic, lay nestled on the banks of Lake Lasuli. Uh, founder Jasper Prescott, which if you know the name Prescott, it's really really reminding me of like Life is Strange and the Prescott family who kind of, sorry, lipstick on my teeth, it always happens, who, um, yeah, so the, the, the vibe kind of, the vibe, vibe of the town kind of does give me Life is Strange or, you know, that series of games, the kind of vibe that they have where it's like, it's an old mining town. I think that was the theme of like Twin Mirror. Um, so um, yeah, I love that. I love the world theme and I like the, the name Prescott as like a little nod to Life is Strange. So founder Jasper Prescott had fo uh, foraged this land for its treasured crystals, hoping Copperdale would one day blossom into a prosperous community for families and travelers alike. And though the minecarts reached an eternal halt, the townspeople continued to flourish. With academics and adventures abound, Copperdale is now home to many families seeking a small town life with big city dreams for themselves and their teens. Together they've unearthed, unearthed <laughs> together, this is so cheesy, together they've unearthed a gem far more precious than before. Beloved high school memories. <laughs> so cheesy whoever wrote that like that is high level cheese uh, so uh, yeah I love it though right it's really cute and I love that backstory for the town and it's a beautiful town so this is normally the park area but I've turned it into a residential lot and moved in the mouse family because we know that they don't have a huge amount of money uh, they just kind of I don't know what they're doing, but money is not the objective. Um, I'm going to jump in with them and we're going to kind of have a look, a little look at the family, a little recap of who's who. Uh, we're going to age up the children to teenagers and give them a makeover. And then probably in the next episode, we'll kind of send them to high school and kind of see what kind of mischief occult teenagers can make with this pack. So excited to try out more uh, cross expansion gameplay as well. Okay, so yeah, so this is the lot. It's just the park lot, like the normal park lot that comes with this world. It's very dark right now, very dark and rainy. But you know what? Dark and rainy days make the pier look extra beautiful. Like, look at it, guys. Just look at how gorgeous this is. And do you know what? If you are looking to, uh, give me a second. Yeah, so I'm back. So if you're excited for this expansion pack as well and you think that Copperdale is beautiful and you'd like to explore it for yourselves, uh, the EA Creator Network has very kindly pr uh, provided me with a code for this expansion pack. It's on the screen right now. It's a giveaway. It's first come, first served. So fastest fingers first, run to origin, type in that code and you're going to be the proud, proud owner of this brand new high school years expansion pack. So thank you again to the EA Creator Network for providing me with that to give to you guys. It's really, really generous of them. Uh, and then just let me know in the comment box down below if you get that. Uh, so nice little surprise there, right? Uh, let's, yeah, let's keep uh, moving on with Maybe not with the show. She's so professional. She really, she just knows what she's doing. The editing is amazing. <laughs> and they're like, wait a second. <laughs> just such an idiot. Okay, so who do we have here? This is Minnie Mouse. So this is Luna Mouse, and she is the child of Cinderella and Christopher Volkanov, who is the, uh, the like, I'll just show you. Listen, I'll just show you who her daddy is. Uh, there he is. So Christopher, who is like of the Moonwood Collective, like the Moonwood Collective leader. So she's the daughter of a spellcaster and a werewolf. It was a little bit like, what are we going to get? And she's a spellcaster. So she has the weak bloodline thingy majiggy. Um, so that's going to help her out a little bit. Because uh, so, Cinderella doesn't have any spellcaster bloodline because she's like a new spellcaster. Um, so because um, Luna's like her child, she has a slightly stronger magical bloodline than Cinderella does. 
Uh, so yeah, that is a pretty nice thing for her. She's really, really sweet. She's outgoing. Uh, she's friend of the Moonwood Collective, uh, artistic prodigy. She's going to be like the popular girl in school and she's definitely going to use her her magic and charm ability to kind of like charm the other teenagers and we'll, I think we'll kind of explore some of like the cheerleading and social features with her. Uh, we also have <laughs> this absolute wonder who I'm so excited to play with who is Thirst Stroud. Uh, they are the child of Vlad and Nalani who is a mermaid from Solani, Nalani from Solani um, and uh, yeah quite a strike, quite striking features. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be a little bit dark, a little bit brooding, a little bit theatrical, um, and yeah, they are a vampire. Again, we didn't know if they were going to be a vampire or a mermaid. They're a vampire, so again, that's going to be quite interesting to see how how a vampire navigates high school and the thirst and things like that. And literally, they're called thirst. Um, and we also have here a foundling Knox, who is the child of a foxy Noxy back here, who is just brings me so much joy. <laughs> it looks like Knox 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 Greenberg is now living his best life in my game <laughs> as a fox. Um, and this is foundling and uh, fox. Um, had found link with the girl from the werewolves trailer i think her name is lux l-u-x um so yeah that's their baby very very cute and guaranteed werewolf <laughs> so i feel like found link is going to explore the um the more oh so thirst is probably going to be a bit more of an academic uh and foundling is going to be a little bit more of an athletic sim so like the sports team and things like that uh so yeah really excited to kind of get going on this and i guess we're just going to age them all up uh i guess i'll do it like manually i have got mods installed but i've only updated mc command center and nothing else so if it's a bit laggy it's probably my fault how do i age her up is there a way to right probably mc command center and then what do we do so so, gosh, it'd be great if I could remember where things are. Cheat some info. Mm, not seeing it there. She'll be, listen, I'll figure it out in a second. Give me a second. We'll find it together. Modify householding class. Sim commands. Set age. There we go. So we want her to be a teenager. Go, go, go. <gasps> Luna aged up. <laughs> look at that uh pick an aspiration so let's pick one of the teen aspirations for it and kind of explain and go straight to werewolf out of habit teen um i feel like drama llama she wants drama live fast most out of life carefree rules free admired icon i think suits her quite a lot this sim wants to be a trendsetter popular and influential a true icon so she's good let's see let's randomize and see what she gets Oh, materialistic. Interesting. So we could definitely get her doing trendy. I'm going to oh, do, do you know what? We, we need to like have a look at the features of the pack though, don't we? So we've got, um, I think one's here, uh, overachiever. Uh, and then we've got party animal and there's another one as well, isn't there? Party animal, ach overachiever. Uh, what's the other new one? There's three, isn't there? Oh, there's like socially awkward as well. Where's socially awkward? Why can't I see it? She's like, I don't want to be socially awkward. I don't want to give a party animal either though. I kind of like materialistic for it. I'm just going to go with materialistic. I feel like we should use the new traits, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? You can't tell me. You can't answer me right now. Send me your thoughts, right? Send me your energy. Um overachiever these sims tend to raise their skills faster and are happy when they finish work tasks but a little bit harder to get along with his friends no i feel like that's more thirst and then party animal listen i would have given the socially awkward i wouldn't have i'm going with materialistic it suits her you know, like being the popular girl it kind of really really suits her so she's of course she's gorgeous we knew she'd be gorgeous she's falling asleep <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for like beds and things. <laughs> uh, thirst, stop running away. Listen, I need to age you up next. And again, we're going to give them a makeover in this episode, so it's going to be fun. Um, so, uh, how do we do it? <laughs> She's in instantly forgotten. We've still got the chicken as well, but I've sold the chicken coop, so I don't know what's going to become of the poor rooster. Um, I feel like it might be a meal for somebody at some point. Um, what am I doing? Sim, sim commands, uh, set eight, teen. Here we go. So Thirst is aging up. We'll give, we'll give Thirst the overachiever trait. Okay, this is aging up. We can kind of see, they are really scary. Okay, let's give a uh, thirst. Uh, goal oriented. 
live fast. Yeah, no, goal orientated. This thing wants to be the best. Grades check, sports check, money check. The road to success is being paved. I mean, maybe they're going to be naturally good at sports because like vampires can run pretty fast, right? But I feel like we'll more with more grades right and the proper again like old-fashioned vampire uh let's randomize and just see what they would have got goofball no that does not suit them i see i'm not sad about changing this oh they're socially awkward i see it now i kind of want them to be socially awkward and overachiever uh, this sim tends to raise their skills faster and they're happy when they finish work tasks but they're a little bit harder to get along with as friends I feel like that actually suits them I feel like they're gonna struggle to make friends right so being being the child of Vlad and Vlad being quite awkward and upsetting everybody all the time I feel like that that's that sounds legit and Luna is now a spellcaster yay Egg, Egbert's not Nalani sent first a gift look uh, for it arriving in the mail soon now that Thirst Stroud is a teen, her vampire powers have fully manifested. She no longer has hunger, energy, or bladder motive and must consume plasma to satisfy her thirst. Uh, their thirst. Why does it say her? She's meant to be they, them. Mm, I'm going to have to try and correct that in cast. Um, and now it's your turn. Um, so, blub, 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 blub. sim commands, set age, teen. I could have done this off camera and prepared, but I thought it was quite fun to do with you. Uh, I don't know. If if it's not your thing, you can skip it. But if you skipped it, you don't get the, I guess you didn't get the code. Um, okay, Foundling aged up. And we're going to give them... Uh, I feel like... I feel like live fast, carefree and rules free because they're a werewolf, right? They want to be outdoors. They want to run wild. So I feel like that one suits them quite a lot. Let's randomise and just see. Oh, hot header. That kind of suits them, especially with like the rage of a werewolf. Um, we could give them. Is it party animal? Why do I feel like the traits keep moving around? These sims tend to enjoy parties and letting every other sim know by hyping up a crowd and performing party tricks. Socially awkward. These sims tend to struggle in social situations and build charisma more slowly, but gain powerful mood looks and sentiments when they are able to overcome their awkwardness and accompanying nervousness to form close friendships. Do you know what? Let's go ahead. I kind of really want to keep um, hot headed. Oh, but I'm going to go party animal just because I really want to see the new traits. And what I'm also going to do, he is definitely going to be a heartbreaker. He's, he's, he's a cutie. Like, big nose though. That is a that is a boss level nose. Like, I feel like that is the node of a nose of a true leader. Uh, let's do cast full edit mode, just in case I want to tweak anything, and just in case I kind of want to go back and do something a bit different. And then we'll jump into cast here, modifying cast, and give them all a makeover. I'm so, so excited. Again, I might just give them an every... Nox is broken, Nox is broken. Uh, that is not Nox, that is Foundling. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can sort, is Nox okay? Nox is okay, Foundling is a little bit, a little bit glitched. Hopefully that sorts itself out in a minute. Let's just have a quick look. Like, uh, Foundling, uh, are you all right, mate? Um, set coat color and pattern. Here we go, yay, he's okay, and he's all right. I feel like he'd be kind of like a brownie kind of colored wolf. Like that's, that one maybe, that's quite a nice one. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with that. I quite like that one, oh, that one. <laughs> this is why I don't really do cast like live because I get really indecisive about it. No, I like that one. Stick with like first, first instincts. Think like, especially where werewolves are concerned, you wanna go like first instincts. How do I change the color? I thought I could change the color of the nose. Wait, hang on, am I not in cast full edit mode? Oh my goodness, this game. Okay, I'm back. I just had to edit, um, enable cheats and then go back in. So enable cheats, cast full edit mode, and now I'm back in cast and hopefully it's working. Uh, so let's have a quick look at Nox, uh, foundling here. Um, I gave him the last name Nox. This is a problem as well. Why can't I? It, I am so confused. Why can I edit her and not him? Oh, is it because, oh, I see. I get it now. So he's actually, he should be called Greenberg, not Nox. <laughs> Greenberg, I just gave him Nox's first name as his last name. Is it Berg with an E or Berg with a U? Right, Berg with a U, got it. Right, also, right, hang on. <laughs> Let's make him a little bit more wolfy. So we want to give him that wolf outfit thing. Yes, maybe that one. And then I want to change his nose. I don't really want him to have a white nose. It's not letting me. Why won't it let me? Oh my goodness. 
this is a crime this is not okay look at his teeth oh my goodness uh i feel like i'm gonna give him nicer teeth i'm sad that i can't change his nose color change his eye color not letting me that's like sad times i'm, I'm disappointed in that uh, so cast full edit mode for some reason it's locked when they're a werewolf i don't understand why uh right okay i'm gonna relock it and then go back to him and we're not going to change any of the features they're stuck with the features i may change the eyebrow shape because that's something you can do quite easily um and uh but their actual features i'm not going to touch we're going to touch things like hair uh, don't touch people's hair without the permission uh, but we're going to touch the hair and we're going to like give them a makeover i may just do their everyday outfits for now um and then we'll go back in um I'll go back in off camera and kind of fiddle around with all their outfits because it'll take me hours <laughs> and you don't need to be here for all that. I'm also, I'm not going to give them any likes or dislikes. I'm going to let that happen naturally through gameplay, I think. And we're going to kind of see what becomes of that. Uh, so there is now as well, if I click on likes and dislikes, there's now uh, fashion preferences. So uh, I may actually give them a fashion preference. Do I want to do that? No, again, I kind of want to see what get the gameplay does with that autonomously. So we'll leave that for now. Right, I'm going to start with Luna Mouse, and I am actually going to change her trait from materialistic, and I am going to go and give her socially awkward, because that's interesting, because I want her to be popular, but she's awkward, so that's going to make it a little bit more challenging for her, but on the plus side, she's a spellcaster, she has like the potion of for forced friendship and things like this, so she's going to be all right. Okay, so... Luna Mouse. <laughs> Luna Mouse. She's, she is pretty, isn't she? She's very pretty. She's got, again, interesting nose, but I kind of like it. All right, okay. So we want to filter for the new pack and give her some hair from the new pack. So high school years, uh, she's going to have that hair, isn't she? Like popular girl hair. Um, let's also filter. I'm going to filter for base game and high school years for now. Um, and we'll see what we want to put on it. So maybe something like this, but maybe something a little bit more. Um, I feel like that's a bit dress. Um, do I want to go with that? I mean, she is a spellcaster, right? I don't know. Maybe a bit lighter. No, don't like that. Darker. No, don't know. Uh. Mm, eh, uh. I don't know. I do I like that? I don't know if I like it. Maybe we're just going to give a really dark, like, brooding eyes. Let's give it, like, the thick eyeliner as well. It's quite dramatic. Do you know what? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. We'll do it. Um, and then we want to give her the, uh, I think, is there not? I thought, yeah, there we go. I knew there was a new one. Um, I guess, sure. What I also really like to do on Sims, especially if they're kind of girly and popular, I really like using these. Um, I think they look really nice. Um, so yeah, I would love more kind of like, um, what do you call it? Like highlighter. I would love more like sculpting makeup for the face. So like blush, blusher that sculpts. So I don't know if you can see on me, I put blusher down here to give myself, like I have got cheekbones, but it kind of makes them pop out more. Um, and like, you know, people could like sculpt the shape of the nose, like the lips as well on my lips today. I've, uh, put my lip liner inside at the edges and then overlined at the top to give myself the kind of like Russian lip style. So there's a lot you can do with like sculpting and things like that. And I think I would love more of that in the game just to kind of give a bit more definition to the face because you can really see kind of how like the little bit of highlighter around the nose and Cupid's bow, um, it looks quite trendy and it gives them like a slightly different face shape. So I would really like more of that, please, Sims team, if anyone happens to be watching this video. Uh, and then, I don't know, what do we want to give her? Like, like shiny girl lips. I feel like shiny girl lips is the way to go. There you go. That actually feels quite... That's the one, isn't it? <laughs> that is the one. She definitely looks like circa 2000 Britney Spears, probably post for Playboy at some point to get pay her tuition fees. She's a teenager. She didn't do that. That's her future. Uh, yeah, she has that vibe to her. So I'm here for it. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Again, trying to be the popular girl in school. Um, I like her curviness as well. She's got a little bit of weight on her, but she wears it really well. I, I think she's quite quite hot. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what she looks like after a little bit of yoga, I think. Uh, let's go, uh, you know, just to kind of tone her up. Like, I like the amount, I like the weight, but like, I feel like toning could be interesting. Uh, what do we want to put on her here? 
like I really like this this is very pretty and cute again like going with the whole like the jeans look nice on her as well but I want to put jeans on her from the pack so one of my favorite outfits especially for like really girly girls I really like that top especially if they've got the figure to wear it and then these jeans these jeans are like heaven sent they're such a nice pair of jeans in the game like high waist so bonus point sims team are like really flattering and they really like bring out their hourglass shape so love those and I actually quite like those shoes on with her as well but do you know maybe I'm going to leave those on her they're from laundry day stuff so they're not from the pack but they really really complete the look I feel like that is quite she's quite beautiful let's give her some nice nails as well of course my daughter's beautiful you know <laughs> good jeans good genetics french nails mm, mm. Uh, I feel like those ones look best there we go she's beautiful she's style she's grace she's gonna break everybody's hearts and um, there's a new necklace as well that we could put on her um, so it's just like a little heart-shaped necklace. Where are we? High school years. Uh, that one. Very pretty, very cute. Uh, right, that is Luna. Again, I'm going to give her more outfits, but I'll do it off camera because we don't want to be here all day. Uh, she's she's gorgeous, isn't she? Like, just behold my prodigy. <laughs> um, and then thirst. So it does say, I have set the pronouns to they, them. I don't know why it wasn't doing that in the game uh interesting choice for your dark form there changed your hairstyle okay i'm gonna keep it locked uh, and then let's what is going on with you thirst this is this is definitely a look like you can see the mermaid right that thirst is thirst is kind of terrifying <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you i'm scared of thirst i feel like something like this or this even mm. Mm. let's just take off the feminine tag and see the like the guy's hair as well okay <laughs> um what do we do oh that kind of works actually it's not the look i was gonna go for but i kind of like that right hang on let's just sort out those eyebrows because they're very 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 high eyebrows like is there anything we can do about that because I'm terrified I am scared they are incredibly arched um oh my goodness oh my goodness let's just remove the eyebrows completely that might not be the worst plan um they're all so arched can I will you all hate me if I just go in and kind of just bring them down just a little bit because I mean that they it's 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 a lot like just the tiniest tiniest bit I know I said I wasn't going to alter the genetics but you know you can give your eyebrows a different shape quite easily and then let's just okay that's an improvement there I'm going to stick with that okay <laughs> I'm scared of thirst and then I really want to give them like very very brooding eyes so maybe we just go with like the black eyeliner again is that too much I feel like that's too much what's this one like no that's not it is it Oh, how about that? I kind of like that. It's quite subtle, but... Oh, she looks a bit Elsa. They look a bit Elsa. Do we want to go a bit Elsa? A little bit smokier? A little bit more saturation. Like, let's go a little bit Elsa. And then, like, the dramatic, very dramatic eyeliner. Ooh, like it. And some cheeks. It's, it's too much that blusher like they went overboard with it oh five o'clock shadow uh, that one and uh, I'm not gonna do the highlighter I'm gonna go a little bit more matte uh, for, for thirst and then what about I really like these matte lipsticks oh my goodness that power um, Okay, I think like blood red lips. They're a vampire, they need red lips, which makes me want to change the eye shadow as well. Like I was making them kind of Elsa, but now I'm regretting it. So there we go. Okay, I don't know, is that too much? Like, I don't know, I am keep second guessing myself. Okay, first is definitely gonna break people's hearts. I wanna give them the vampire teeth, even in human form. Uh, oh my goodness. I mean, they were a mermaid. Maybe they got the mermaid teeth. That is terrifying. That is so scary. 
oh my goodness I would not like to meet thirst on a dark night like that is super scary okay um thirst what do you want to wear what do you want to wear? Why am I on athletic? Oh no, I was on athletic that whole time. Why did nobody tell me? What was I on here? Is she on every day? Please tell me she's on every day. She was on every day. Phew. Okay, thirst is going to be... Thirst is going to be the problem. Like, Vlad's child is definitely going to be... Uh, uh, a lot to work with, I feel. Um, okay, what do we want to go for? Maybe that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that one. That eyeliner. Okay, what blusher did I go for in the end? Like the MAC one, I think? I don't know, that one's fine. And then it was the the MAC lipstick. Uh, that one, that one. I've, I've gone darker, I know I went darker there, but that's that is pretty nice. Um, I think the teeth will be still like across all the outfits, right? Yeah, Tara could put them away. <laughs> so scary, I do not want to be bitten by thirst. Um, and I feel like something like something like this I feel for thirst like a little bit dark academia you know um like just do we want to go with that like yeah I, I'm liking it like kind of girly like kind of preppy kind of girly but will eat your heart <laughs> like literally eat your heart um I'm so scared of this same why why am I doing this to myself uh let's go for boots um no, do you know what I like? I really like if we get rid of feminine. There's some loafers that came with modern menswear stuff. Where's it gone? Here, they look really, really good on girls. Like, look at those shoes on girls. And I, mean, I know thirst is they, them, but they, I'm using the feminine filter. But, like, the, those loafers look so good on um, female sims as well. So, actually, a little bit more feminine than I was intending, but... I feel like it's part of the mask, right? It's to lure people in. A little bit like, um, oh, what's it called? Ah, oh, what's that film called? I can't even think of the actress's name. She gets murdered, she gets revenge on loads of guys and eats them. That film, uh, Jennifer's body, she, like, like Jennifer's body energy. Like she looks really seductive, but she's only doing it because she wants your blood. Okay, they want your blood. Right, and the proper as well, like, they're gonna ask first, they're gonna ask permission. Yeah, maybe we get a swast permission, but in a very convincing way. Okay, Foundling Greenberg, like, do you know what? Questionable genetics there, Vlad and Nalani's child. Like, very interesting face shape, but we made it work. Uh, Foundling, you are so sweet. I really want to keep that hair on you, but we're gonna have to use one of the hairs from the new pack. That, he looks like he's gonna sit out with the stoners if you know like clueless <laughs> like the skater boys like I kind of like it though he's gonna be a skater boy uh we're not gonna say see you later boy we're gonna be like yes please sit with us you're such a cutie um let's go like one of these oh I really like like that one do we want to go with that oh my goodness I don't know like <laughs> I don't know. Wait, hang on. Where's the skater pads? Like these pants, these check pants, right? They are everything. Uh, I really like these pants. So wait, hang on. And then let's change his top. So what if we change his top to uh, like this? Because this is definitely a look. I don't know. I feel like it's too dark. I feel like he wouldn't be that dark. I feel like he'd be a little bit more preppy. Um, so what if we go like that and then like that? Because again, he's kind of like a little bit preppy, a little bit sporty. And then I'm just going to give him some nice trainers. So I'm going to go sneakers and I'm going to give him like, um, like the Inky on Arrivals trainers, I think. Like one of these, not those ones. They look huge on him. They're quite cute. Like I kind of like those. Oh, even those. He's like, he's been out running. <laughs> Do we want to put those on it? No, we can't. We can't. Oh, no, actually, do you know what? Converse are the way to go. I feel like he's a Converse boy. Uh, we're representing the moon, right? <laughs> like those? Do we like those for him? Maybe, kind of. There we go. That's going to be what he's wearing. I like him. He's really cute. So again, I'm going to give them more outfits. So watch out for that. Um, you'll kind of see more outfits in future episodes. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there, I think. <laughs> and uh, maybe we take his top off while he's a werewolf. Um, and he just runs around in the pants like that. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's more or less it. We do know, oh, hang on, wait a second, wait a second. We do need to do the dark form. Why, why are you wearing the outfit? That is not the outfit that he put on you. Why didn't, why is this button not working? Uh, because we're back on, oh, for God's sake. Right, it did work, it did work. Okay, cool. So for dark form then, we want to go, this has been a little bit glitchy for me, by the way. Um, we want to go vampire mouth and then like that. Oh, it's creepy. And then vampire sockets and like, yes, eye details, terrifying, cheeks. It's not enough, it's not enough. Right, does she want a big scar because she's been fighting? Yeah, I love it, she looks amazing. Right, okay, and then if I go back over here, fingers crossed that hasn't gone to her normal form. There we go, okay, perfect. Right, beautiful, love it. So that is what they look like. I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna record a video straight away and we're gonna kind of like hopefully send them to school. I don't know what day it is, but we're gonna play with them a little bit. If it's not a school day, we'll start working on their various powers uh, in preparation for school. So for example, I want, um, I want Luna to learn like the potion of forced friendship and the one for romance as well. Uh, I feel like they're gonna like be good. <laughs> uh, we'll make sure she's got a broomstick, her spell, uh, her spell stick, broomstick and spell stick, <laughs> magic wand, and uh, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go because I'm an idiot. Do take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye friends.